What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for being here. You probably saw the title of this video and are thinking, what in the hell is this guy talking about? 2020 was terrible. It surely was not the best year of our lives, but I wanted to discuss my thoughts and my opinions on this subject. And I should preface this by saying, if you are on the front lines of this, if you're a doctor, a nurse, anyone in the healthcare space, if you're a small business owner or a waiter or a waitress, really anyone in the restaurant industry who has been unfairly targeted in my opinion, or if you've lost someone to this disease, this isn't really directed at you because you've dealt with some catastrophic events over the last year. But for people like me, and I would say the majority of us, COVID has really been an annoyance, right? It's had to, it's changed the way that we've lived, but it hasn't necessarily wrecked our income completely. Now you might've experienced a layoff, but hopefully you're able to find some, some other work. But we have had to make changes and adjustments in throughout everything, right? Throughout all of the crap that we've been dealing with over the last year, I would say for me, it's been the best year of my entire life. And be, the reason for that is all based on mindset. So I want to discuss that through this video and kind of give you guys a recap of my year because it's my channel. I can talk as selfishly as I want. So starting out 2020, obviously none of us thought that anything like this could ever happen. I mean, I've never experienced a pandemic. Most people watching this video have not either. So, you know, we take it for granted. It's New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to go out. We never even think twice about not being able to be in closed, uh, closed spaces with other individuals. And, you know, we start the year pretty normal. You start to hear things about about this COVID and you know, we thought it was just something that was going on in China, never assumed it would come to the US and surely never assumed it would become what it did. So what was it around like February, March, things kind of just, just hit the fan, but rewinding before that, I mean, in January, you know, we got our beautiful little puppy Alfie. So that was amazing to start off the year until he broke his little leg, which was, which was not too fun, but that was actually, after uh, the whole COVID thing kind of got into full effect. And once it, when it really hit me, there's a few different instances where I was like, wow, this COVID thing is for real. One is when they canceled, canceled the Arnold Classic. I was like, wow, this is, um, this is not a joke. And then they canceled the NBA. I was at the gym when I watched that. And I thought to myself, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real bad. And then I got an email from a sponsor of mine a pretty significant sponsor actually and said hey we're gonna have to pull all the the spots that we have scheduled for you this year we don't know what's gonna happen and we are holding on to our funds so sorry um i know you signed to uh to, to make that revenue over the next year but uh it is no more and that that moment i learned that 2020 was either going to own me or I was going to own 2020. And you know, I think 2020 really exposed a lot of people. Now, a lot of people rose to the occasion, which is awesome to see, but some people, I think was it was probably one of the first major problems they, they've ever dealt with. So maybe it was like their first time coming into some real adversity and they just weren't sure how to pivot and how to make the best out of it. Because as I mentioned, there's a lot of people in my situation where COVID didn't, you know, destroy what I was doing. It just made me adjust. And I know there's a lot of uh, individuals kind of in, in that same, in that same playing field. Like if you're an accountant in New Jersey who kept their job, but they just had to start working from home. Like, I don't feel that bad for you uh, because you can't go out to the bar with your friends every weekend. Like you like to, I mean, yes, don't don't get this twisted. I do not like waiting outside uh, outside of Target to get in and have everything take you know five times as long to get delivered and everything's out of stock and all the things I like to buy are more expensive. Like don't get me wrong, it sucks. I don't like anything about that, but I am not going to let that mentally defeat me. And I want to tell you a story, a quick story about someone who has the right mindset. Um, I'm so impressed with this guy. I needed to get my cars or our cars detailed, uh, my truck before I sold it and Megan's car. And the individual, his name is Aaron, who came to detail our cars. He was a personal trainer. I was talking to him after, uh, after he was done. And I was like, how'd you get into this business? He said, well, 
I didn't really have an option because COVID hit, I couldn't personal train, so I started this business. In that type of individual with that mindset, that that man will be a multi-millionaire. I can already tell you, that kid, I mean, he's you know probably 10 years younger than me, but he will be so successful because he didn't just, you know, crawl up in a ball and cry and, and, and you know, just think that the world's against him. Because my thought, my belief is too many of us have a very victim mentality. And we all think that, you know, the world owes us all these things when, when in reality it doesn't. And I hope in 2020, this was eye-opening to everyone to show you that, you know, nothing is guaranteed. And I've seen a lot of things throughout, you know, the 31 years I've been on this earth. So I've tried not to take a lot of things for granted, even though I still do. But I hope that 2020 makes us realize like we really need to make the best out of every situation. And one of the biggest parts of 2020 that did concern me at first, because I, I obviously knew that I wanted to take the next step uh, in my life with, with Megan, right? So, you know, we wanted to move into a house and we actually signed to build this house when everything just hit the fan, right? The lockdowns were beginning and it was scary, but we knew that that's, you know, the next step that we wanted to take. And obviously uh, we wanted to get married. So I went to uh, Diamonds Direct and they told me like, hey, this is gonna be a waiting game, but I uh, put my money down and thankfully, uh, you know, it took forever, but the ring came in. Uh, we got engaged in June, which is one of the highlights of my entire life, um, as you guys saw on this channel. And I've gotta be honest, there were some scary parts to this year and a lot of uncertainty without really knowing what the next step would be. And for me, one of the biggest mental struggles was not being able to go to the gym because that's been my outlet ever since I can remember. So we really had to get creative, you know, building home gyms or build, when I was in the apartment and, you know, I had very little to work with, but taking workouts outside and, and just making it work. I think what I saw in 2020 that I loved was how many problem solvers are out there and so many people getting creative and finding solutions to, to problems that we've never seen before. And you know, Megan and I would try to get creative and have date nights at the house and do all these things within the constraints that we were within uh, to make it seem as normal as possible. But of course, you know, if you can't have human interactions with the people that you love the most, it's going to weigh on everyone, even introverts like us. I sympathize with extroverts uh, because I cannot imagine if it was roles reversed. If we ever got into a situation where you couldn't be alone and you had to be around a bunch of people all the time in order to stay away from a disease, I'd be losing my mind. But I can understand how people really struggle with this. And it, and it sucked, right? I mean, I haven't seen my friends from back home, but one time um, in the last year, you know, we can't really be around Megan's family as much as we would like, but we're making the most of everything. So that's really all you can do in times like this, because I can tell you when I look back over my life, like this isn't even close to being one of the worst years. I mean, not even, not even the top five, probably. There's been years where much, at least in my circumstances, much more significant things have, have gone wrong and have happened. But even those years, I would still consider great years. I mean, the most for me, like when my mom died, that was like the, almost like, you know, the end of my life. We were so close. But even that year, like it ended up being, you know, this is how we're gonna make this work. And if I can get through that, I could get through anything. And that's the mentality I take with me in every situation. And I do understand that some people haven't had the opportunity to build up those mental calluses, as David Goggins would say. And I think 2020 uh, is going to be, you know, great for everyone in terms of of really understanding how to get over more challenging situations. So I do think that there's some some benefit to that. And I feel almost guilty saying something like that because this disease at this point in the United States has killed you know, over 300,000 people, which is awful. Right, I mean, that's that's terrible. But as I mentioned earlier, for, for those of us who are just a little bit annoyed and, and still complaining, like this is the worst thing to ever happen to us. Like we're not the victims here. Like the victims are those who are, who are dying from this and whose businesses it's have they've spent 50 years building up. 
or are being torn down because the government thinks that they should be God now, apparently. Um, and I don't want to get into too big of a conversation on that. Anyway, moving in to my 2020, you know, Megan and I were able to get engaged, which was amazing. We found a wedding venue, which is awesome, but you know, still in the back of our minds, we're like, well, what is going to happen to our wedding date? Is, I mean, is this still going to be an issue? They say the vaccine um, might not even get to everyone in 2021, possibly. So I wasn't going to just stop what we were doing and and leave it up and say hey we'll, we'll push off getting married because getting married is super important to us and if we have to get married in front of one person being the pastor then then that's fine we are going to go through with this and that's the mentality that we took on pretty much with every situation and there's this really cliche saying and i try to stay away from cliches that i'll say to megan every time we're feeling a little bit down and maybe a little bit unmotivated i'll just say whether you think you can or you can't you're right. And obviously it's not always that simple, but I find that most of the time it just comes down to your attitude and your mentality about something. So what we tried to really instill within our lives is that yes, there's going to be challenges. Yes, there's going to be roadblocks, but why are we using those as an excuse to not achieve the things that we want out of life? It's again, another cliche, you only get to live one time. So to give up an entire year and use COVID as a crutch just doesn't make much sense to me. So now I'm sitting back and really reflecting on the year and it still seems weird, right? I mean, this whole year just kind of, it kind of flew by and it's a blur and you weren't able to go do all the things that you originally intended. But I look back and I'm like, wow, look at what we've achieved as a family and I've achieved all my financial goals and then and then some and you know, I was able to move into this beautiful home and I don't want this to come off as like a brag by any means because I'm not alone in this. There's so many people that are just like me that had the best year of their lives. So I'm really hoping to connect with those who thought that this year was just a waste. And this year was, you know, the worst of the worst and it couldn't possibly get any worse because it can. It could be much, much worse. And as we move into 21, I think some people are under like the, the belief that at that midnight, things are just going to flip over and go back to normal. But if you go into 2021 with that same mentality of that this is going to suck and there's nothing I can do about it, you're going to have an even worse year. Uh, than you did in 2020. And I don't want that to happen to anybody because I truly believe that there's nothing special about me. The only thing that I do differently than a lot of different people is I try to create my own reality. Regardless of what's happening, I create the reality around me by the decisions that I make. And I firmly believe that everyone watching this video can do that exact same thing to an extent. Of course, if you're a doctor taking care of COVID patients every day, your perspective is going to be different. So again, not my target audience when I say that, but for those of us who are in a position where, yes, it sucks that my package isn't going to be here next day when I use Amazon Prime, of course it sucks, but is it the end of the world? No, we can make do with what's happening today and how do we better ourselves for the future um, and make sure that we never end up in this type of predicament again. And I think health and safety will be of the utmost importance from now until eternity, two things that probably should have been um, even more important from the get-go. So I don't want this video to extend too much longer. And again, I don't want this to come off like I was, you know, holier than thou or that, you know, putting anyone down. And I want to be sensitive because I know it was a challenging year for so many people, but I also want to at least try to put some hope and some belief in anyone that wa that watches this video and thinks that uh, you know they can't have um, a successful career or a successful relationship or they can't go out and do things um, that they want to achieve because of something out of their control. Um, so you know you have to isolate it the best you can, and I would encourage you to be smart, right? We don't want anyone getting sick, um, so I personally follow uh, social distancing guidelines and I don't go out and sit at restaurants and you know go out and live my best life don't get on airplanes but that's just me you make you'll make that decision for yourself but uh, for me you know 2020 was not a year wasted and I really firmly believe looking back like I did everything I could to make it the best I could now could it have been better if we didn't have the pandemic yes 
but I have no control over that. Again, I don't want to get on a huge rant here. If anyone's listening at this point, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. <sighs> wow, I felt like I just talked for a very long time. I hope that wasn't like a big sermon and preachy. Sometimes I just get, you know, I just get going. But anyway, this is uh, releasing probably pretty close to 2021. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. And I mean that sincerely when I say that. I mean, the thought that you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. It's pretty awesome. Please drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get started with an amazing 2021.